Good evening, and welcome the graduating class of 2022. At this time, I would like to invite the members of the chorus that will be singing our national anthem. Please rise and remain standing for the presentation of colors by our National Air Force ROTC Color Guard. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the Amazing job. Thank you. Please be seated. Again, I would like to welcome everyone to the final commencement exercises for the class of 2022. My name is Nate Burns, and I'm the proud principal of Nashville High School North. Today is a very special day for our graduates and their families, and I want to thank you all for being here to share in this ceremony to honor all of them. I would like to begin by introducing our distinguished guests. Board of Education President Jennifer Bishop, Board of Education members Jessica Brown, Neil Claffey, Christina Darling, Sharon Giglio, Paula Johnson, Reagan Lampier, Heather Raymond, and Sandra Zeem. From our central office, Superintendent Dr. Garth McKenney, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Kimberly Sarfty. Next, I would like to welcome and introduce the members of our school that are celebrating with us today. Assistant Principals Jason Lonergan, Katie Kloss, Heidi Paris, and Andrew Conrad. Director of School Counseling, Jackie Hackett. Assistant Director of Technolo National Technology Center, Corey Kennedy. And to those who have worked tirelessly to put this ceremony together and be here today, National North Administrative Team, Sherry Gaudet, Aaron Hesketh, Kim Gustafson, Gene and Zarillo, Allison Lynn, Denise Petz, and Deb Wright.
This year's valedictorian, Lithia Babar. Salutatorian, Claire Hobbs. Senior class president, Olivia Maserell. Class vice president, Ben Klein. Secretary, Gustav Dada. Treasurer, Samantha Byrne. Today's faculty speaker and assistant senior class advisor, Rachel Lively. And your senior class advisor, MJ Flanagan. Joining our graduates on the field today is the faculty and staff of Nashville High School North. I would like to take a moment to thank all of those in attendance today to share in this ceremony for our students. Your support and dedication to our students is appreciated. Our music today is a result of all the hard work of our band students under the direction of Kristen Olson. Thank you. And finally, the reason we're here today, I proudly introduce to you the National High School North Class of 2022. At this time, I would ask all students that plan to enter service into our country in the coming year to please stand and allow us to show our gratitude towards you. Thank you. It is an honor to be here today celebrating the accomplishments of you, the graduating class of 2022. I am so proud of you all. To say that your four-year journey through high school for any of you was easy would be an understatement. But so far, you're the only class at National North that can say you were actually in high school for only two years. Those two middle years, on the other hand, were challenging as we navigated through the COVID pandemic, scheduling changes, remote learning, hybrid learning, the list goes on and on. But you persevered, and we're here today to celebrate your accomplishments. I do wish we had more time together, but I think you all made the most of your opportunities that were afforded to you during your time at North. I hope that you can look back at your years in high school and remember your time at North as more than two years of a pandemic. That you remember school fondly as a time in your life where you learned not only academics, but about the relationships you have with friends and teachers and the experiences that helped you become you. Chadwick Boseman once said, whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for a purpose. Moving forward, I challenge you to find your purpose, and I wish you the best in whatever endeavor you may choose, be it the workforce, the military, college, or anything else that you want to do. Congratulations, class of 22. Thank you for the wonderful memories, and know that North will always be there for you. Each and every one of you bleeds blue and will always be a Titan. At this time, I would like to call to the podium our Class of 2022 National High School North Salutatorian attending the University of New Hampshire Durham Honors Program, Claire Hobbs. Hello, and to my fellow seniors, congratulations. It's been a long road to get here, from our first uncertain steps as freshmen to an ongoing global pandemic. We've faced challenges together, both old hat and new, but we've made it. We're finally graduating. I'm thrilled and a little sad that this is the last day I legally have to see any of you. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you today about community. As our Nashua North community disperses and changes, growing to reflect our changing lives and responsibilities, I've been thinking about the many smaller communities our school is broken into and how all of us have carved out our own little pieces of paradise within the hustle and bustle of high school. I haven't always felt comfortable or included in the wider community at North. As most of you probably know, I'm gay, and this year I dealt with increased harassment and homophobia during passing periods. I felt alienated, detached from everyone else. But 
While the cause of my harassment might not exactly be universal, the feelings it created are something everyone here has experienced. Despite the best efforts of our teachers, schools function as a microcosm of society, reflecting the same flaws, prejudices, and struggles that we have and will have to face in the world at large. Whether it was the cafeteria, the bathrooms, or the hallways, like it was for me, we've all felt hostility on campus. Not at the fault of any faculty or individual classroom's culture, but as a result of the sheer mass of our school's population, the overwhelming nature of teenage emotions, and society's ever-changing attitudes. But, while I may have felt friction with the school at large, I always had a space within it where I felt welcomed and safe, a sanctuary that would protect me, help me grow, and offer me support and encouragement whenever I needed it. I'm talking, of course, about classroom A140, or because, be honest, who among you even knows that the A-wing exists, the band room. Because of our school's music program, I made and strengthened friendships, was challenged to consider other points of view, and learned leadership skills and responsibility, or all the things you should learn as you grow up. But band also allowed the most precious pieces of childhood to flourish in my soul, imagination, creativity, and hope, things that we as young adults need now more than ever to live happy, fulfilling lives. Band became my community in high school. I found it on the marching field, playing dance again in the stands of freezing football games, and in the back of the percussion section, sorting through moldy cabinets of equipment. But the size of our school, the same thing that makes it so overwhelming, is also what makes it so great because all of you have your own communities, your own sanctuaries that have taught you to become adults while nurturing your inner child. Whether your communities are found in your e-block or sports team, j C or Spanish class, club or lunch table, you all found somewhere you belong and people you belong with. And that's why this idea of community has struck me so much because it reminds us that it's the people we are with that give our life meaning. These past four years, we have given each other our meaning. We've helped each other grow and learn and shaped each other into the people we've become. There is a sense of loss that accompanies any change in life. We're losing the people that we've so far defined ourselves by. But whether you're joining the workforce or the armed forces, going to college, I'll be seeing a lot of you at UNH, or trade school, or following any other path that life has given you, you'll find your people, you'll find your communities, and I encourage you to be active within them. And I have every faith that they'll be just as supportive, just as loving and nurturing as the communities you have created in high school. At the Tri-M induction ceremony, that's the Music Honor Society, Members have to say what music means to them. I honestly can't remember what I said, but I remember everyone else's. Music is hope. Music is a way of expressing something larger than yourself. Music is larger than yourself. Music is safety. Music is emotion. And finally, music is community. All these definitions of music have combined for me and created a new feeling, a redefinition of what music is. And that new meaning is the same thing that we, as the graduating class of 2022, have made together these last four years. We've grown together. We've overwhelmed each other. We've learned how to express each other's emotions and to resolve discord. We've given each other safety. We've given each other community. And because of all this, we've made music together. I know that wherever you go next and whoever you go with, you will make a song that's just as vibrant, just as powerful, and just as meaningful as the one we've made together in high school. Thank you for making music with me. Next, I'd like to call to the podium our class of 2022 Nashville High School North valedictorian, 
attending MIT, Nithya Babar. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, the Nashua North graduating class of 2022. Thank you for being here with us to celebrate this big step in our lives. It's an honor to be addressing you today. To speak on behalf of all of our graduating seniors is a daunting task. We've all had our own individual experiences throughout high school, and nothing I can say now could possibly encompass all of it. However, there are some memories we all share. When we first entered North, its hallways seemed so long and intimidating. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who used to confuse B-Wing and D-Wing. The upperclassmen and teachers may have seemed scary, but it turned out that like us, they were just people. As we look back now, the school doesn't seem quite so big anymore. And of course, we can't forget about the one and a half year long pandemic shaped gap in our high school experience. I'd like to take a moment to thank our teachers who stepped up to the challenge of remote and hybrid schooling and did their best to make our education as high quality as possible given the circumstances. You have each been so important in our development, not only as students, but as people. Personally, I would also like to thank my family Throughout my life, my parents have always been so supportive of everything I wanted to do and never pushed me in directions I didn't want to go in. My happiness was always their first priority. Thank you to my amazing sister, Pragya, for always being my go-to person and to my friends. Without you, I would not be where I am today or who I am today. As exciting as it is to move on to bigger and better things, it's not easy to part ways with each other and essentially leave behind the only life we've ever known. But that just goes to show how special our time at North really was. We've made friends, memories, and lasting connections that I'm sure we'll cherish for the rest of our lives. In the wise words of Winnie the Pooh, how lucky am I that I have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. As this chapter of our lives comes to an end, we face many possibilities for the next one. Whatever path you have chosen for your future, whether it is a college or technical school, the workforce, or military service, I know North has prepared us well to tackle the next phase of our lives. I wish you all the best of luck in all your future endeavors. May you each find success in your own unique ways. Although this is goodbye for now, it's certainly not goodbye forever. Our paths will continue to cross, and I look forward to seeing the incredible people you will become and the differences you will make in the world. I'll end with some more words of wisdom from Winnie the Pooh. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you know, and loved more than you think. Thank you. Our faculty speaker today was selected by the class of 2022. Please welcome Rachel Lively. Okay, here we go. So I tried really hard to write a speech that avoided all the cliches of the traditional graduation speech. You know, the one that opens with a quote or definition. It makes the faculty remember all those students they don't want to forget, and makes parents think about the 12 years in school with their kids, and then sending them away. And I have to tell you, it's really hard to avoid all those cliches. They're tropes for a reason. They're really good for writing speeches. So here we go. Class of 2020. Congratulations, you made it. For some of you, it was a fun last year filled with modified schedules, classes involving playing sports or making pottery. But for others of you, it was a close call. For a few of you, it came down to the last few minutes of senior week. 
but you made it. And that's all that really matters. In my public speaking course, I tell my students it's essential to follow the three basic principles for speech writing. To know your objective, to think about your audience, to be purposeful in your approach, to identify a tone and follow through with it, to be clear and concise, and to be effective. I have struggled to do all of that. After all, what is my objective? How do I ensure that you fully understand what I need you to understand? How do I clearly and concisely convey to you, my audience, that every person here wants the best for you? How do I begin to approach such an enormous task? Because that's the truth. This is an enormous task. The Nashua North class of 2022 is one of the strongest and most resilient classes that I've had the pleasure to work with. And the task of honoring you is so important. Many of you are my students. Some of you I even had the pleasure of having multiple times. But all of you have overcome challenges. From disrupted daily living to tragedies, it has been a tough four years for the class of 2022. I don't think any of us here really knew how to get through the last four years. And while we may have differing thoughts on what should have or could have been done, I think we all agree we're really happy to just be here. You have had a class that has the hardest of all things. You had to suffer through being freshmen in a new building. You lost out on the camaraderie of high school through your sophomore and junior years and your senior year wasn't exactly traditional. You had to deal with a pandemic that should have been a normal high school experience and took it and created a three-year mashup of different learning and social challenges. And through all those challenges, you still had to grow and mature into young adults. Think about yourselves as you entered high school as freshmen. You were not those people. The past four years have been filled with chances, losses, and missed opportunities. A lot was asked of you, and you stepped up. There is no doubt that the world today is not the same as the day you started high school. It has changed, but so have you. Look, I really tried hard to avoid the cliches of a traditional graduation speech, but I am nothing if not a teacher at heart. So let's talk about literature. Nancy Leibovitz writes, literature is a reflection of the unknown. In science fiction, this unknown is meant to be understood and then changed. In fantasy, this unknown is meant to be loved for its strangeness. The reality is the last four years have shown us that life is full of the unknown. Some unknowns have forced us to ch confront challenges we weren't yet ready to face. Some unknowns created changes in the world around us. And some unknowns reveal who we really are at our core. The unknown of the last four years has shown this community that the class of 2022 is strong and resilient. You've embraced the unknown and you've come out the other side better and wiser. In fact, you've imparted your wisdom to me. I have been reliably informed by my public speaking class that every good speech must include a Bruno's March quote. And if experience has taught me one thing, it's definitely to trust the advice of high school students. The class of 2022 is going to change the world. Large or small, their impact is going to resonate in this community and any other community they join. Don't believe me? Just watch. I would now like to welcome Senior Class Secretary Kustaf Dada to say a few words. Good evening, seniors and families. 
I am deeply honored that I have been presented the opportunity to speak before you all today as the Senior Class Secretary. Today, whether you've already processed it or not, because I certainly haven't, is one of the biggest days of your life. For the last 12 years, you've been working towards this moment, walking across the stage with your diploma while your friends and loved ones cheer you on from the field and the stands, respectively. The academic resilience that all of you have displayed throughout your last four years here is truly something remarkable. Your family is incredibly proud of you. Your teachers are so pleased with the effort you put into their classes. And I'm thoroughly impressed with and proud of my fellow graduating class for what you have been able to do within the last year. In that sense, I think our senior year has been very memorable. I mean, think about it. We've had well-organized events throughout the year for seniors, like SNL and Powder Puff. Senior week was a blast. The Celtics had made it to the NBA Finals. Stranger Things season four finally came out. And I even started dating my first girlfriend. No, no, I'm kidding, still no girlfriend. <laughs> These experiences hopefully will be what make your senior year at Nashua North unforgettable. On the flip side, we also must remember the maybe not so exciting part of graduation. That being that this may be the last time that many of you will see each other. For some of you, that may include separating from your friends of 12 years to pursue career paths in different areas of the country. For others, it may just mean that you and your friends are going to the same institution, but they just don't want to room with you because they know you won't be able to keep your room clean. All kidding aside, given these circumstances, I kindly ask you to reflect and thank the people who have made it possible for you to wear your cap and gown today. For many of you, it may be your families, your teachers, and your coaches who have all provided you with a support system that has allowed you to foster connections within the Titan community. For the rest of you, it may just be me. Personally, I would like to thank my parents who have never failed to support me and for being so supportive. My brother, Rajit, for always being someone I could look up to. My teachers who have never given up on me and the administration of Nashua North who kindly greet me with a smile whenever I see them. I would also like to thank our senior class advisor, Mrs. Lively, and our student activities coordinator, Mrs. Flanagan for all the work they put into making to our senior year incredibly memorable. I leave the seniors off with two more things to say. Firstly, if in the future when you feel like you can't do something, remember that motivational speaker and philosopher Aubrey Graham, otherwise known as Drake, said, before you give up, think of the reason why you held on for so long. Thank you, Nashua North. Oh wait, the other thing? Mark my words, Celtics in seven. Please welcome Senior Class Treasurer, Samantha Byrne. So I just found out I was giving this speech like two days ago on Sunday. And admittedly at first, that made me really nervous. I had to write it, prep for it, practice it. But on second thought, I couldn't really think of a better way to commemorate my whole high school experience seeing as I almost always did all of my work last minute anyway. Sorry to all my teachers for that. Nevertheless, I am extremely grateful for all those teachers that I've had the opportunity to learn from these past four years. I'm grateful for those teachers that went out of their way to go above and beyond, for those who helped me during the hard times, for ones who inspired growth, the ones who kept me on the right path, kept me coming to school, and the ones who set an example for the type of person I hope to become someday. And especially my first block teachers who didn't mark me late on the days I overslept. Thank you, seriously. A big thank you to our wonderful principal, Mr. Burns, for making all of the opportunities we've had these past few years possible. A big thank you to all the people I met, the friends I made, and the memories we created. You have all helped me to become the person I am today. And I don't think there are good enough words to sum up how grateful I am for that. 
I also want to take this opportunity to thank my mom. She's always been my biggest supporter and my number one fan. I really don't know where I'd be without her today, but I know I wouldn't be up here speaking in front of you. And lastly, before I go, I want to leave you all with a quote from our Albert Schweitzer. Success is not the key to happiness. If you love what you are doing, you will succeed. So, I wish all of the success to all of you in front of me. And whatever adventure life takes you on next, I hope it's accompanied by all of the happiness you could wish for. Congratulations to the Nashua North class of 2022. We'd now like to welcome senior class vice president, Ben Klein, to say a few words. What's up, guys? As most of you know, for the past two years, I've been your class vice president. And while there are many things that I enjoyed about this role, <clears throat> there are none greater than meeting so many of you. I can honestly say that I really enjoyed this role and everything that came with it. But I'm happy to say, oh, one second. There are none greater than meeting so many of my peers. And I'm happy to say that over my four years, I got to meet so many of you. And of the ones that I was lucky enough to meet, I'm so, I'm so proud to call the majority my friends. So please don't be confused. This was not about filling my comm map. This is about connecting and knowing as many of you as possible and creating fun things for everyone. Now I can't go without saying thank you to all the teachers who really made my high school experience so great. And a thank you to my amazing family for creating such a strong and loving support system. And finally, thank you to you guys, the class of 2022, for all the opportunities, friendships, and memories. So thank you, and good luck to all of you. And now I'd like to call to the podium our class president attending Williams College, Olivia Maserell. Hello, everybody. I want to start off by saying how excited I have been to be speaking at graduation as the senior class president. So thank you for this opportunity. I would rather have not spoken at all today than to start my speech off with, it feels like just yesterday we were freshmen. It wasn't until the past six months or so that my enthusiasm towards this speech became accompanied by an idea. Many class president speeches like to honor their class in their time in high school, but I would like to start off by honoring someone who isn't here today. Sure, there are probably a handful of people who could have been here today, whether they moved or got put into a different grade. I would like to start by honoring someone who I should be able to look right in the eyes at this very moment. Someone who should be sitting in the front row right next to Jesse Allen. I didn't think I was going to cry. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, that someone is none other than Tyler Almeida. <laughs> that clap just gave me another second to get myself ready. Okay, those who knew him could testify that although the majority of what he said would make you break out into laughter, it wasn't a rare occurrence for him to say something that would make you think a little deeper about life. For example, is this quote we have remembered him by. It goes, there's a lot of ordinary, there's a lot of beauty in the ordinary. Isn't that the point? In my mind, these words are Tyler's. So what if they were actually said by Pam Halpert in the office 
In my mind, they were only ever said by him. It doesn't surprise me that this Instagram caption of his from July 1st, 2018 would ring so true in 2022 because Tyler always had that sense of wisdom to him. Over these past two years, while surviving a pandemic and simultaneously high school, our class has been able to discover all of the beauty in the ordinary around us. No other generation will understand the excitement of seeing smiles on people's faces in the hallway, walking out of a classroom instead of logging off a screen, or eating in a lunchroom together. Now, not all ordinary has resulted in beauty, so hear me out on this. <laughs> Thanks to social media, acronyms are everywhere. Could I please see a raise of hands for those of you who didn't know that LOL means laughing out loud? How about, oh, come on. How about those of you that don't know what OMG means? Thank you. So I'm not sure why it is still ordinary for some people in this country to not understand the acronym BLM. We are lucky to have the majority of our class sitting here today because some schools around the country have lost their classmates to tragedies that have become so ordinary. <laughs> Avoid, deny, and defend drills should not be as ordinary as a fire drill, and no parent should ever be scared to drop their child off at school. Our country needs to do more to protect our children and not the laws that allow these tragedies to happen. Let's hope one day we can witness these ugly ordinaries fall so far into the category of not ordinary. On the topic of not ordinary, what about public school? One of the most dysfunctional places on earth, to no fault of our administrators, I want to thank each and every one of the parents here today who kept our class in a public school. We are students in a community where we were all welcome, no matter how much money you had, what language you speak, or what disabilities you may live with. We have spent four years in a place where you may not like everyone, and you may not even relate to most of them. The thing is, we all still showed up. The world should be more like a public school, where no one is told they are not welcome due to a lack of this or difference in that. We have all gone through a once in a lifetime experience. Good old public high school. Let's live the rest of our lives remembering what it was like to attend a place where no one was ever turned away. Today, we are gathered on our high school football field. No fireworks, no huge arena. As ordinary as this all is, I am so unbelievably grateful that we are all here today together. Because there's a lot of beauty in the ordinary. Isn't that the point? All right, we will now begin the moment you've all been waiting for, the conferring of the diplomas. I'll ask the seniors on the stage to take their places and we'll begin with their names first. As a reminder to the audience, please be respectful as the names are read so that each senior is able to enjoy their moment. Students will come up here, get their diplomas the, on the stage, shake their hands. Please be sure to stop for a picture, look into the photos um, and camera for the TV, and you can pick up your diploma on the side and return back to your seat. Assisting me today, reading students' names, will be our assistant principals, beginning with Jason Lonergan. Mr. Lonergan will begin with the students here. Nitya 
Babar. Claire Hobbs. Olivia Mazarol. Benjamin Klein. Samantha Byrne. Gustav Dada. Kelsey Acevedo. Kaylee Agnew. Viani Aguilar. Alma Alberto Cabrera. Tyler Almeida, accepting on Tyler's behalf are his parents and sister. Jesse Allen. Sarah Alvarado. Sarah Lise Anaya. Victoria Aquino Ortiz. Saria Arun Kumar. Caitlin Banks. Marcella Barbieri. Andrew Berry. Jean Basora Diaz. Riley Bean. Maya Bosole. Reagan Belanger. Salma Belgu. Kaylise Beltran. Emily Bergeron. Nathan Baruby. Catherine Bevilacqua. Anna Belota. Emma Bink. Luke Blondo. Lucas Blondin. Quinton Bolton. Katarina Bono. Alejandro Barrero. Ryan Bourgeois. Dantia. Braccio. Fernando Brambilla Morales. 
Chelsea Breton. Nicholas Briggs. Andrew Brown. Damian Buchanan. Jalen Buckmeyer. Yeah, yeah. Charlize Badina. Natalie Burgess. Melody Burroughs. Ava Cambrai. Colin Cantwell. Yes, sir, Colin. Slayman Capellan. Hannah Cardinal. Cadence Cardona. Eric Castro. Alex Catchpole. Nicola Catchpole. Arhenis Cepeda. Juliak Cepeda Mendez. Logan Corvals. Yeah. Helen Cespedes Almango. Emma Shress. Brian Chisholm. Rocco Ciardi. Isabella Seco. Matthew Sifra. Arian Cintron Arismendi. Ashley Cody. Delaney Cody. Martin Coutier. Devin Coro. Francisco Colon. Joseph Colon Torado. Jason Constant. Kendall Corcoran. Avalyn Cormier. Simon Costa. Michael Costello III. Aiden Crapo. Kaylin Creer. Zayden Crocker. Benjamin Currier. Cur Currier. Isabella Davidson. Luis Davila Alvarado.
Kawa De Freitas. Alyssa Delahanty. Janisha Dalud. Joseph Delvendo. Christopher Dennehy. C.J. Dang. Jose Dennis Cunones. Claire DeRochers. Essence Destin. Dylan Deschard. Ariana De Gregorio. I'd like to call Assistant Principal Mrs. Katie Kloss. Rory Donaldson. Andrew Doucet. Lacey Doucet. Kayla Doyle. Cole Ducharme. Joshua Dumas. Spencer Dunn. Briggs Dupre. Ella Dustin. Ferris Ibrahim. Sean Edwards. Sarah Escobar. Adam Essebir. Sophie Evans. Julia Facunda de Almiada. Chiara Fajardo Vasquez. Giovanna Ferreira. Mitchell Fonvert. Jack Forcier. Haley Forrest. Jacqueline Foster. Hannah Frank. Lindsay Frechette. Lauren French. Carity Fernandez Diaz. Nick? Thank you. Andrew Fry. Yes, sir. 
Kelsey Galbraith. Stefan Galbraith. Jalima Galvez. Allison Garcia. Michelle Garcia. Roy Garcia. Morgan Gardner. Kristen Garudi. Trenton Gerlowski. Shane Gillis. Natalie Gerard. Brady Gleason. Ashley Go. Dominic Goldsack. Dominic Gomez. Emily Gonzalez. Abby Mayel Gonzalez. So Liam Gonzalez. Eliana Goulet. Madison Goulet. Anne Marie Gavastes. Proud of you. Owen Graham. Camden Graham Maison. Savannah Grand Maison. Amy Green. Elzashira Grossman. Trevor Garente. Alicia Guerrero. Blanca Guevara Cruz. Daisy Guevara Cruz. Daniel Guzman. Anna Height. Benjamin Height. Abigail Hall. Emma Hall Lavoy. Connor Handspicker. Kira Haviland. Aliyah Hayes. Callie Hayes.
Sky Henderson. Manuel Hernandez. Viviana Hernandez Mija. Alexander Hill. Nasa Ho. Colin Hallbrook. Yes, sir, Colin. <laughs> Aurora Holland. Mary Holland. Dylan Holmesy. Skyler Hugh. Emily Husson. Alexander Imhoff. Grace Irumva. McKenna Jenkerson. Keisha Jerez. AJ Jimenez. Adam Johnson. Paige Jolliker. Joshua Kane. Catherine Keplavka. Amos Carnua. Aisha Casey. Cameron Kell. Julia Kelly. Marcus King. Matthew Klein. Abigail Knowlton. April Kachalka. And Joshua Kravitz. I now welcome to the podium Assistant Principal Heidi Pears. Garrett Labonte. Kelsey La Liberty. Helene Landry. Brooke Lane. Thomas Lorendi. Yes, Mia Levine. Devin Lavoy. Dylan LeMay. Margaret Lembry. 
Brianna Lemon. Joseph Lennox. Kaylee Latender. Anya Lavake. John Leakakos. Vasilios Leakakos. Abigail Lindstad. Jesus Lopez. Mia Lopez. Wendelise Luna. Aiden Lynn. Emily McKenzie. Kylie McKenzie. Bryn McWilliams. Lauren Mahaney. Jade Leonette Maldonado. Yeah. Rhea Malia. Yeah. Ava Malorzo. Yeah. Cameron Manning. Emily Manning. Woo! Joshua Markell. George Marcial. Andrieli Marazan Mendez. Kaylee Marmol. Let's go, Kaylee! Adrian Marquis. Samuel Marshall. Calvin Martin. Misael Martinez Caballero. Brady Mason. Ifra Masood. Autumn McGarry. Ann McIntosh. Viola McIntosh. Dylan McIntyre. Angel McKay. Caitlin McLaughlin. Megan McLaughlin. Lisette Medina. Ashley Melanson. 
Joseph Melanson. Lourdes Mendez Singh. Anthony Michael. Kaylee Mickle. Andrea Milani. Madeline Mills. Kaylee Miller. Jordan Mills. Haley Miranda. Grace Mochita. Alexi Montano. Jean Montez. Damon Montoya. Yeah. Jacob Moore. That's my boy. Yes, sir. Khalees Moore. Giovanna Moreas. Ju Juliana Moreas. Sydney Moran. Mina Morcos. Jonathan Moreno. Alyssa Morning. Abigail Morris. Carly Morse. Jaylynn Morse. Maeve Morton. Christian Mostero. Owen Mostero. Mercy Mukisa. Leah Naughton. Spirian Deasenga. Adam Nguyen. Patrick Nguyen. Amira Chow. Jose Nunez Guzman. Caitlin O'Brien. Selena O'Brien. Matthew Oliver. Hey, yes, sir, Emmanuel Ortiz Corrado. Brandon Ouellette. Yeah, 
Rayan Pappas. Ethan Paquin. Vincent Paratori. Calandra Parent. Monica Patino. Katrina Patch Busek. Jason Pecoraro. Trey Philbrick. Tiana Philbrook. Madeline Phillips. Aiden Pickett. Yazid Pulakal. Madeline Potvin. Georgia Power. Andre Prince. I'd like to welcome Assistant Principal Andrew Conrad. Humberto Quesada Bravo. Emily's Quintana Morales. Maria Quintero Cuesta. Juliana Quintero. Trinity Quinto. Brenda Ramirez Gallegos. Luis Ramos. Anuar Ramos Garcia. Mutita Rana. Nathan Raymond. Mina Ragnier. Isaiah Resto. Rachel Reveal. Logan Rydell. Jade Rio. Troy Rivar. Cassie Rivas. Consuelo Rivera. Gage Rivera. Matthew Robert. Chloe Roberts. Emily Robichaud Hall. Woo! 
Isis Robledo. Dominic Robles. Gabriel Rodriguez. Ready to go, bud. Kerry Rodriguez. Luciana Rodriguez. <laughs> Yana Lee Rodriguez Nivas. Erica Rodriguez Segaran. Molly Rodwell. Garrett Rowe. Samuel Rogel. Julian Romero Panegos. Victoria Rondon Escalera. Luisa Roque. Ohani Roque. Danny Rosario Urena. Connor Ross. Audrey Russo. Giovanna Rutstein. Nolan Ryan. Karis Richwa. Ivan Saavedra Martinez. Julie Sage. Eliza Binti Saide. Nevin Sanford. Timothy Sanroma. Ezekiel Santana. Jean Santos. Marina Santos. James Serengo. Michaela Savage. <laughs> Megan Scalera. Yeah, Jared Schofield. <laughs> Lily Schoonover. Riley Scott. Santiago Sepulveda Cantano. Sarah Sepulveda Cantano.
Sarala Sharma. Drew Sheehan. Zachary Sharon. Isabel Schur. Kira Seiss. Mariana Severa, Sierra. Juliana Silva. Allison Simons. Brianna Smurden. Isaac Smith. Evan Soares, Lindsay Soleranzo, Ishlanis Soda, Saranya Sri Balaharan. Monet Sullivan. Carly Sweeney. Emma Sweeney. Tyler Sweat. Madeline Swisher. <laughs> Mackenzie Tanner. <laughs> Rosalinda Tavares. <laughs> Aiden Taylor. Jason Tejeda. Shubham Tapa. Alexis Thompson. Gabriella Thompson. Zachary Thompson. Elizabeth Tibbetts. Nicholas Tilton. Brittany Tanucci. Kyle Torrey. Matthew Taranjo. Jasmine Troxler. Meadow Termel. Alexis Vashon. Eduardo Valdez. Manuel Valdez.
Christopher Valdez. Ronel Valdez Serrano. Caleb Vasquez. Maddie Vega Simpson. Sianna Vidal. Ariana Varela. Zuris De Varela Trinidad. Kelsey Wabel. Kate Walker. Jack Washam. Aiden Watson. Braden Welch. Isabel West. Turner White. Megan Wiggett. Brent Winter. Abim Yadav. At this time, I ask that staff begin to position yourself for the students to exit the field. Seniors, please stand together as a class one last time. By the authority vested in me as a representative of the superintendent and Nashua Board of Education, I now confirm and recognize you as Nashua High School North graduates. Seniors, please move your tassels from the right to the left. I now present the Nashua High School North Class of 2022.